Confusion of Feelings, Part 1. Oh my god, this plane is going down. Calm down, please. This is just a regular situation. Please, sit down, fasten your seatbelts. This is just a regular situation. Ma'am, don't, don't get up, get up please madam. Sit madam, please. sit down. Ma'am, would you please. please take your seat? What a beauty. <laughs> I can get used to this power. Polina says there's panic in the cabin. They can handle it. It's their job. Sit down, please. You shouldn't get up. Sir, take your place, please. Where's your seat? Yes, sometimes there are lightning storms in the sky. This is only slight turbulence for now. Slight turbulence? There's a lightning storm outside the window. The plane will start reducing altitude in 20 minutes. Please sit down and fasten your seatbelt. So we're crashing in 20 minutes? No <gasps> one's crashing. Stop panicking. Don't you understand that you're scaring the child? Are you okay? <sighs> we will be home soon. Why so bitter, Valera? There's nothing to be happy about. The beauty and calm are here. The closer to home, the closer to the storm. Hmm. Wife's arguing again? Drama is her default condition. And I haven't even been home for two days. What a field day for her imagination. It's time for all of us to pray. Pray for as all much of as us. you like. Just don't do it aloud. Please sit down. Attention, and please. Your seat belt. Our sit plane down, is please. operated by pilot in command Valera Pavlov, one of the best pilots please, in the I, industry. I, I, sit down. I can't, I can't do this. Then why doesn't Help he me. come out and tell us that we're fine and that we're not going down in flames? We're time. We're all hey, lady, time. what are you talking about? What will he tell you? What can we do now? Let him just do his job. Let him focus and fly the plane. We must remain calm, please. I, I please, want to please, see Pablo. please. Don't get up, please. Stay seated. Let's pray to we God. We should all to God just to try and stay brain. calm, please. One nervous guy started screaming. We tried to calm him down. Then another one joined in. In short, there's panic in the cabin. Passengers want to see you. Talk to them. Paulina, we have been authorized for final descent. Go see them, Valera. The passengers' blood pressure could rise. Also, there are two pregnant women. They'll calm down when they see you. Don't get up, please stay seated. Well, so they tell me there's panic in the cabin. Ladies and gentlemen, today is your lucky day. You have had a chance to experience an amazing act of nature. Good news, we'll all be landing in Moscow very soon, so there's no need to take out your umbrellas and raincoats. The storm is moving towards Nizhny. What a mess. He's so handsome. All right. As you can see, we're all fine. We will initiate descent soon. Mom, if you don't leave right now, you'll run into the lightning storm. Nika, promise me you're going to eat properly. Oh, I swear. I filled up the freezer with plenty of cutlets. Guess what, daughter? She forgot you don't eat meat and spent all night preparing your meal. By the way, why did you stop eating meat? If you call me daughter again, I'll hit you right in the eye. I don't eat meat because I'm against killing animals, but I would gladly strangle you. All right, stop. You're in the middle of your exams. You get exhausted and you need to eat well. The only way you're going to get protein is by eating Mom. meat. Listen to me. You take the cutlets from the freezer, Mom. put them in the frying pan for three minutes, and then flip them. The fridge is also full of vegetables. Eat those. Natasha, let's go. Yeah, it's yeah, thundering. hold on. Okay, listen. Don't forget the oil. Fine, Mom. Mom, Mom, calm down. Do you think I can't live two weeks without you? I'm a student. I'm 18. Two of my ex-classmates are already pregnant. What? Who? Pregnant? Who's pregnant? No, I'm not going anywhere. Natasha. Calm down. I'm not pregnant. Someone else is. How, how am I supposed to leave her alone, That's Natasha? It, I'm not flying in a lightning storm. 
I'm scared of thunder. Mom, that's the guy you live with. He thinks thunder is the worst part of the storm. <sighs> Nika, promise me, if something happens, you'll call me, and I'll come immediately. Natasha, she promises. I promise. Okay, all right. Bye. Bye, bye. bye. Goodbye, Natasha. That's all fine. Bye, bye. Freedom. <sighs> Is there something you want to tell me? It depends. What do you want to hear? Well, first, I'd like to know why you're two days late. Masha, you and I work for the same company. You could have easily found out the reason. I don't even have any doubts they would inform you. Norils didn't give us the permission to fly. We waited for better weather at the hotel. Let's say they informed me. Are you going to tell me what you were doing in the hospital? Masha, don't start that. Polina told me you didn't sleep in your room. So you also called Polina and didn't let her get any rest? All right, then. I couldn't sleep and took a walk around the city. You went for a walk in non-flying weather? Not tired of lying? I'm not tired of lying, I'm just tired. Give me an hour to rest, and then we can start fighting again. Do we have a deal? No deal. Why didn't you answer my calls? Why didn't you answer my text messages? Because I didn't want to listen to your hysteria before the flight. Valera, it would be better for both of us if you told the truth. Where's the ice? In the top drawer. So you're ready to hear the truth? I'm ready for anything now. Okay, then. Masha, we've been together for 17 years. And I haven't cheated on you once in those 17 years. That's the truth. Swear on your father's health. I'm not gonna swear on anyone's health, all right? So Polina lied to me that you didn't sleep in the hotel? She didn't. I couldn't sleep and I went for a walk. Did you sleep with her? With who? With Polina. That's it, I'm going to my father's. Lies again and stop hiding behind your father. I can't stand it anymore. I wanted to visit him tomorrow, but I'm going today. It's been so long and now you're leaving? I am, and could you stop it? This is unbearable, Masha. Go see a therapist, go to a psychic, but could you just go somewhere where they'll cure you of your obsession? me to call your mother. I wouldn't recommend it. Why not? If you tell on me, I'll tell her who's stealing her magazines from the mailbox. And who's stealing them? It's you, Aunt Zena. What's to see in there? There's nothing but naughty photos in those magazines. Then what do you need them for? Nika, don't you dare. You don't even have a license. You know I drive like a goddess. But your mother couldn't have left you the keys. She didn't leave it. I found the spare one myself. Oh, you little brat. Nika. Oh, dear. Oh, what a parasite. Oh. Oh, my.
Ambulance or something. <sighs> How are you? Are you okay? Are you hurt at all? <sighs> Did my leg bang on your car? No, I don't think so. Go and call them. I yeah. <sighs> We're gonna get soaked here. Let's get you into the car. I can make it by myself. Okay, drag me to the car. Your hand? Uh, wait, hold on. God, it's horrible. Damn it. Come here. Get the door. At. I'm so sorry. Stop staring at me. Call the ambulance. Get the police. Sorry. I'm so terribly sorry. My head doesn't hurt, but I'm sorry. Bleeding. So sorry. I'm so sorry. Are you going to repeat the same thing forever? Go ahead. Mm. Call them. No, don't. Please. Please. No, police. Lady, don't be so slow. You should have been slow before. I have to deal with my leg, blood's running from my head. I have to figure it out. It seems like my bike's been totaled. I need to try and at least get something back from the insurance. I have money. I'll pay you. I worked. I've been saving for a car. I... Stop freaking out. Where's the phone? If the police comes, it will be bad for me. Why? Do you have a body in your trunk? Are you a drug dealer? It's worse. I have no license. Is it expired? No license at all. This is my mom's car. God, why did she even give you a car? Cars are taken. Cars are not given. Great. What are we going to do now? <laughs> oh, God, don't they teach first aid in schools anymore? Everyone my age knows <sighs> how to do first aid. They even taught us CPR. And I've graduated school, by the way. Well, thank God you didn't hit me hard enough for me to need CPR. You have to tighten it more if it's broken. Why are your hands shaking so much? I'm just afraid you're going to die right here. God, it hurts so much. You're not gonna die, are you? Don't count on it. Pilots don't die on sofas. You're a pilot? Believe it or not, you just collided with a pilot. So, why have you stopped? Go and find me some painkillers, would you? And make me a cup of strong tea.
Nika, please. Are you nuts or what? Why are you calling me? I just fell asleep. Lena. Lena, I just hit a man. You what? Literally. On the road, with a car. Nika, did you take your mother's car without permission again? I warned you. You're out of your mind. Well, who did you hit? A drunk at a bus stop or what? I hit a pilot. Are you kidding? All right, Nika, I'm going back to sleep. Lena! Lena, do you know what he is? What? He's... He's just so... He's amazing. Did you fall in love with him? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I did. Looks like you have a good appetite. Are you feeling better, Valera? Well, I don't feel bad. The head is buzzing a bit. The leg is swollen like a beach ball. But I haven't had a breakfast like this in a long time. You're a good hostess, Nika. Mm -hmm. It's about time you got married. It was about time 17 years ago. <laughs> I was married back then, actually. I did it once. Happily? What does happily mean for you, out of curiosity? It's when two people love each other. A lot. Mm -hmm. Strong love can only lead to two places. It's either the courthouse or straight to the madhouse. You're older than me, of course. But that's not true. How do you know that? You need two things for a happy marriage. Nerves of steel and a job with long business trips. Then there may be a chance that you won't kill each other. Perhaps you've stopped loving your wife. That's why you're saying this. But this doesn't happen to everyone. Where are your parents? On vacation. Mm-hmm. It's all gloomy between you and your wife, as I see it. That's none of your business. Okay, then. Now we're gonna go to my father's. I need to get an x-ray and see whether there's a fracture or not. Oh, and don't tell him it was you who hit me. You don't tell anyone. Otherwise, there will be police and investigators and a life sentence. Do you understand? I see. Okay. We'll go slow and careful. <laughs> You'll go as slowly as a mm -hmm. turtle? Okay. Why are you looking at me like that? Like I'm the living dead? That's not how I'm looking at you. How then? Nothing major. You're an interesting man. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was a lot more interesting <laughs> before you hit me with your car. Without a bump on my head and with a pair of healthy legs. Oh, how long do I have to keep saying I'm sorry? Keep saying it until I finish eating. Uh, no. <laughs> All right, let's go. speed up just a little bit? It's already dangerous at this speed. Stick to the road. Look ahead. Mm -hmm. Look in the mirror with the corner of your eyes to see the whole situation. <gasps> break! Break! <sighs> what are you doing? Can't you see the intersection? Don't you know people turning off the main road have the right of way here? Got it. Don't give me the study book lecture. I'm not stupid. And it was your great wisdom that made you hit a man yesterday. Yeah. On the other hand, we met each other. <laughs> You've got a funny way of meeting people. You'll get attention for that, that's for sure. And the main thing is that no one's gonna be able to run away. I'll have you know I get enough attention with my ideal figure and style. <laughs> Your figure? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I'm a vegetarian, by the way. Uh, you eat grass. That's why your brain isn't developing. It's to the level of a goat's brain. Well, everything's developing. By the way, I passed my finals better than anyone. Uh -huh. And enrolled in medical school. Well, why couldn't you bandage my leg yesterday, then? I was nervous, very nervous. <laughs> Police, what do I do? Slow down, get your ideal figure away from the steering wheel.
That was lucky. Whew. Wow, you're so cool. I'm lucky to have hit you and not somebody else. Don't look at me like that. I'll look at you as I like. You know what? I liked you yesterday, right away. I'm telling you, turn off those romantic looks. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm too old for you. I have no interest in schoolgirls. I'm not a schoolgirl. I'm in college. Mm-hmm. Let's switch back. No, you sit there. I'll drive. Wow, Valera, what a grown daughter you have. I have a grown-up son. This is Nika. She brought me here. Oh, I see. All right, there's no fracture, thank God. Just a severe bruise. Here, take it. The surgeon is waiting for you. He'll bandage you up. You could have called. I was up all night. I was waiting for you. My phone was wrecked. The bike, too, by the way. Thank God. Stop being such a playboy. Aren't there enough risks when you fly? Thank you, child, for bringing him here. If you're not in a hurry, I'd like to invite you to have dinner with us. I would like to thank you somehow for saving my son. Yeah, I'm not in a hurry. Uh, all right. Okay, I'll see you then. I promise you a great dinner. Mm -mm. My mother died when I was in the ninth grade. I miss her. The duck. <laughs> Dig in. Come on, get up, get up. Mom says that the duck is a stupid bird. Too big for three and too shameful for one. <laughs> oh, can I just eat the potatoes? <sighs> Nika doesn't eat the meat of dead animals. Really? I didn't know that. Well, next time I'll stuff peppers with rice and carrots for you. Perhaps this duck didn't even want to live. Maybe she suffered from a broken heart. Perhaps you'd like a little taste of leg. Would you like a piece? No, thank you very much. Perhaps this duck wanted to become a swan and you put him into the oven. Thank you, thank you, that's enough. Nika, have you been in a movie? Your face looks really familiar. You've probably seen her racing in the, in the streets of Monte Carlo. Mm. Nika's a, she's a great racer. I was on the local TV news earlier this spring. I thank the teachers. Ah, that's probably where I saw you and remembered. Mm -hmm. So you graduated school mm -hmm. and are you headed to the university? Are you going to marry straight away? I did. Thankfully. Off to medical school. My congratulations, colleague. You've picked the best profession in the world. Mm -hmm. I dreamt Valera would someday become a doctor. <laughs> but he started building planes when he was five. You expecting someone? <laughs> Maybe it's one of your patients. My patients don't come without calling. Put it down. Is he here? Mm -hmm. Masha, come in. It's all fine. There's not even a fracture. There'll be fractures. He's here with her, am I right? Hello. Nika, meet my wife. This is Masha. Masha, come in, please. Come in, come in. Taste the duck. This is a doctor's duck. Well, since a doctor cooked it. Hold on a second. Masha, I got into an accident. But I'm fine. I, I just had a little scratch in my head. Sit down. What? Haven't you noticed that your husband's head is badly injured? As a matter of fact, I have noticed. I'm glad that his head is injured right now. It means I won't have to break it myself. Masha, you're nervous for no reason again. Dad, leave her alone. It's her lucky day. She caught me with a woman for the very first time. Nika's not a woman. She's a child. Masha, I'm asking you politely not to make a scene in my house. Now I understand why my husband loves to visit you so much. Well, first of all, he's, you know, not just your husband. He's also my son. 
And it's horrible to visit one's own father so often, right? I think it's time for me to go home. Dad, could you give Nika a ride? No problem. She lives with her family down by the lake. Let's go, child. Goodbye. Don't be afraid of her. She's harmless. Uh -huh. Just very jealous. Give me the keys. Where did you want to go? That made you take the wheel without a license. I thought, what if someone got into an accident and no one took them to the hospital? And you know what? Your son should have found a new wife a long time ago. Here on the left. Good. That's good. Did I pass? Let's go around again. I'll decide. The more you drive now, the better you'll drive later. Mr. Kolya, I need a license urgently. What's this hurry all about? Well, you know how it is. That's just the way things are. I need it very much. You're scrambling for the rover. You're holding back. Is your stepfather buying you a new car? Yeah, right. He would. Dumbass. All right. Don't ruin your mother's life. Don't stand in her way if she wants to be with him. You've grown up and you'll fly away soon enough. Let your mother be happy. I won't fly away until I kick his dumb ass out. All right, let's go. Well, here we go. Mm -hmm. Since you got your license. I mean, this is no Ferrari, of course, but I, I, I couldn't buy you a new one. It just has a few miles. <laughs> you didn't even take any money from me. It's for your pleasure. Here, take the keys. Don't race. Oh. Mom, why are you sad? We're hunky-dory now. I'm studying. Your business is thriving. Well, it's not thriving that much, actually. Firms don't like to spend money on advertising. That's fine. I'll be making money soon. Right. All the doctors in our country are millionaires. I'll be the first millionaire doctor. Just wait and see. People from all over the world will come for treatment. Cheer up. Nika. What is it? Do you tell me everything? Well, not always. Mom, it's only the guilty people that confess all of their sins. Why are you asking me? I just have this feeling you have your own life now. <laughs> That's obvious. I'm a grown woman. Hmm? <laughs> I love you so much, honey. <laughs> again today for sure. I'll bet you anything. I'm not making a bet with you. I am certain that she's coming again. Would you like something? Yes. Cranberry juice, please. Here you go. These girls have no pride. What are their parents thinking? That's a nice way for this girl to start her life. And I'd like a cup of coffee, please. Milk? Yes, with milk. Thank you. Hold on a minute. Mm -hmm. Anna, what would you have done if such a thing happened to your husband? Just think about it. Polina, bite your tongue. Water, please. Here you go. Thank you. Mm. Sir? Mm. Whiskey? We only have spirits in business class. <laughs> well, water then. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Is there a problem with your husband? I can help. Here's my card. I'm a therapist. I have the office in downtown. Just call me and make an appointment in advance. Thank you very much. Thank God we don't need a therapist. A young lady we know, on the other hand, could use your help. I think I'll hold on to this. No, thanks. This young lady could use a strap, not a therapist. Sorry. You're mistaken. 
Young people are the ones who get too close to the edge and even cut their wrists. I thought maybe one of your husbands needed professional help. No thanks. No, there, there's no need. What do you mean, help? The man wants a new woman, and you're getting him a therapist. That's a paradox. You know what I mean. Uh, juice? Ladies, will I ever see my coffee? Hot drinks will be ready in five minutes. <laughs> juice? Here you go. Valera, I told her. And I told her mother. I'm ready to live together, but I'm not ready to... to get married. So why does marriage scare you? Think about it. We've been together for three years. And it's been fine, so why change anything? What if she decides that I'm her property after we're married, and it'll start the same way as with you? I... Sorry about that. Permission to reduce altitude? Copy that. Descending to 200. The crew is ready for initial descent. It's a pity that my family became a bad example. You know, Masha is a wonderful person. She just somehow has it in her head that I'm cheating on her. And I've been staying away from women for a long time now. <laughs> you laugh? You don't believe me? I do. Although, no although, that's the truth. But what about that assault? I'll deal with the girl Nika myself. Valera, deal with it. People are worried. And we need calm workers here in aviation. Well, look who it is. Why are you here again today? Tell me, don't you have any pride left in you at all? Not anymore. Listen, I used to have a crush on this guy, our mechanic. I liked him a lot, and he had a girlfriend. Take note, not a wife, but a girlfriend. And I didn't get in the way. Nika, you need to understand. If you say you can't build happiness on other people's unhappiness, I'll hit you in the head. I'm tired of listening to the same thing over and over. I'm not going to tell you that. Nika, that's just stuff people say when a married man is in love with you. You've just got under Valera's skin. Mm -hmm. He doesn't see you as a grown-up. To him, you're just a crazy schoolgirl. Not a schoolgirl. College then student. Then go after other college students. <sighs> Listen, Polina. Tell me the truth. You care about Valera yourself, don't you? Yes, I do care about him. Mm -hmm. But not the way you think. We work together. I've known his wife and son a long time. It's not his son. It is his son. He helped raise him. Raised. And his work is done. When's he leaving? Onika, oh, I find it hard to believe you're just a reverent little girl in love. Mm. You're sly. And you've got something on your mind. Hello. Are you ready? I'm inviting you to the movies. Beer, popcorn, ice cream. A good time? Go alone. You've been standing here all day? I am. I'm not bothering anyone. All right, get ready to sleep here, then. Valera left a long time ago. You missed the pilot, did you? He escaped in a luggage car like a thief. Hold on, hold on. It was a joke. Oh, come on. One, two, three, four.
The most difficult thing for me is understanding how not to lose my mind when I become a doctor. Not a problem with those who get well. Be proud and be happy, right? Yeah, that's right. But what about the people that I'm not able to help? All those patients who are left to suffer or are left to die. How will I wake up in the morning and go back to the hospital? How can I look their family in the face when they come to pick up the medical records? Do I need to develop a cold heart? My father's been taking care of the families of his deceased patients his whole life. You're asking me very serious questions, Nika, and I don't have any of the answers. Think about it. If I don't find the answer, I have to get out of medical school right now during my first year. Find something else. All right, look at it this way. All people are mortal, but a real professional doctor can help people, actually help many people, if not everyone. While a good surgeon will cry, beg forgiveness for his mistake. Other patients whose time are up, they die when the time comes. I agree. I am so thankful I didn't listen to my father and I pursued aviation. If you make a mistake, God forbid, no one's going to be saved, neither you nor the victims of your mistake. But that stuff rarely happens, right? Aren't you flying modern and very reliable planes mm. nowadays? Well, that's it. We should go back. I should go and you need time to get back home. Thank you. Thank you. What for? You didn't send me away today. Spent time talking to me. What about Masha? That's not the problem. It's a crazy situation. People will think we're lovers or something. You don't need that kind of reputation, and I need it even less. So please stop chasing me and focus on your studies. Oh, my studies are all good. I'm doing great. I'll show you my grades. I don't need to see your grades. Show them to your mother. By the way, isn't she worried about where you are? She's just trying to keep up with her younger husband. And what do you mean by that? Well, she hangs out at the gym. She injects some stuff into her face so she can look younger and he will stay with her. Do you get along well with him? Oh, it's difficult. Cares too much about himself and almost doesn't work. Treats mom badly. Well, okay. <laughs> you asked me to talk to you? Mm -hmm. I've talked to you. Don't come around anymore, okay? Can't promise that. <laughs> All right, fine, I won't. Mm-hmm, bye. And well, they've brought dessert, <laughs> dig in. It's my favorite in town. Mm, here goes my summer body. Come on. Well, tell me, how do you like working at the agency? Well, I'm used to it. Processing tickets is not flying, of course, but there's something to it. The salary is even higher. All right, then. <laughs> <clears throat> you probably think that I called to ask you to spy on Valer and tell me about him. Mm, no, Masha, I don't think so. I've always told you. You torture yourself for no reason. Right. There wasn't a reason. But now, when it's all serious, I'm silent as a mouse. I'm not saying anything. What do you mean? Anna, I think you're not a good liar. You just don't have the skill. Anna. I decided to tell you first. I wouldn't call all of our friends to tell them a thing like this. Tell them what? Valera and I have been together for 17 years. Do you remember how deeply in love I was? Of course I remember. Kind of hard for me to forget. Right. You know, I would fear opening my eyes in the morning. I thought I only dreamt he was mine. Come on, Masha, it was all good then. <laughs> it was not good at all. It just took me some time to realize that. He married me because 
He felt sorry for me. And he never actually loved me. He's just... a nice, decent man. Oh, Masha. In short, I've... decided to leave Valera. Are you out of your mind? Masha, is this because of the little girl? <laughs> Masha... He doesn't even take her that seriously. He runs away from her, do you understand? She's just a horny, petulant little girl. She waits for him for hours and follows him everywhere. Masha, everybody's laughing at her, you understand? Even when she calls him. If you only heard how gently he talks to her. <laughs> Masha, don't be stupid. You know Alexi loves him like a father. You'll go crazy without him, Masha. I'll go crazy. <laughs> so what am I, the worst wretch to stand between two people in love? You see, we can talk like normal people do. Uh, yes, doctor. Hmm. We can. Forgive me. I've been feeling uneasy and. No need to be sorry. What are you doing here? Oh, Alexei hasn't called in a while. There's no signal in the mountains. They should be in camp Hello, by now. Arena. All right, I'll go make yeah, some tea. Uh, got lost in your dreams again? Huh? What are you doing here? Um, I'm very glad to see you too. Yes, yes, I'm sorry. <sighs> Let's dance. I'm not here alone. Hello, Alexi. How are you? I don't think your friends will mind. Are you at the camp already? Oh, you left Yesterday? And for such a long time. Why didn't you call us? I've already told you, you'll become a man not when you act heroically, but when you finally learn to care about your mom. Well, where have you been this whole time? Are you all right? They say you've made a fortune. Fine, call mom in five minutes, please. A career of Bye -bye. in society will never replace what I've lost. Speaking riddles. By no means. You understand everything. <sighs> I can't sleep when you and Alexi are not home with me. So I listen to music. I think it will be bad for me if you leave. Eventually, Alexi will leave. And then I'll just be all alone. I'm not going anywhere. Alexi, on the other hand, could move in with his wife. And then soon after, give us grandchildren. What grandchildren? He needs to study. I'm not saying anything like we're getting grandchildren tomorrow. <laughs> Hello? Alexi? Are you all right? Well, thank God. No injuries? Is it true? Tell me the truth. Mom, just don't bother me. I have two questions for you, Nika. You can save your two questions. My answer to the first question is yes, I like studying here. Your Oleg makes me mad in the house. My answer to the second question is I'm a grown-up and I decide when I come home for myself. Is that it? That's it. Nika, do you have a boyfriend? We didn't agree on a third question. Nika, let's talk. You're the closest person to me. Mom, please don't. You always have someone closer than me. What do you mean? Oh, the whole gallery of images. Timur, then there was Alexander Sergevich. Pity he was no Pushkin. And then, oh, hold on. Vesfold, yeah. He was a funny guy. It's a shame they sent him to prison. All right, stop it. 
And now Oleg, three years already, freak of nature. If he irritates you, I'll just break up with no, him. No, the fact that he doesn't irritate you irritates me. Do you want me to break up with him? Will it make it easier for you? No, it won't make it easier. When you're alone, you work too hard and cry too much. Mom, everything's going to be fine. I'm moving out soon anyway. I'm done. Hey. Will you come in? I can't. My mom's got the night shift. I need to babysit the brat. Have you seen him today? Yeah, I see him every day. And how is it? Amazing. I just can't understand one thing. Explain to me why you need an old married man. I need him. Very much. All right, I'm out of here. Will you be home tomorrow? Hmm. Leaving for two days. You see? Are you going to see him? Yes. <laughs> and everything's going to happen? Lena, don't ask questions. We're adults <laughs> now, after all. Do you want to borrow my red bra? <laughs> all right, go. <laughs> Captain of the plane, international pilot Valera Pavlov and the crew would like to welcome you on board our flight this afternoon en route to Moscow. Can you fasten your belt, we'll please? We'll be flying at an altitude of 30,000 feet. Our flight time is approximately two hours and 20 please minutes. Please fasten your belt. We'll be walking around the cabin offering you Pull that back, please. during the flight. Toilets are located in the rear of the aircraft. Smoking is strictly prohibited for the duration of the flight. Please turn off Pull all up that table, please. during takeoff and landing. Take your seat, please. We wish you a good flight. Will you stow my bag, please? Of course. Nobody was allowed back here. Well, you're a VIP guest. Valera, what do we uh, do with her? Ripon's painting unexpected. Look, she bought a ticket. Why didn't you get to the luggage space right away? Nika, where did you get the money for a ticket, or is that a secret? I don't keep secrets from you. I was saving for a car, but my mom bought it for me. Yeah, it's cool here, of course. Valera, let's eject her with a parachute. Huh? So do you eject all the passengers that you don't like? And a person is ejected with their seat. She's done her research. Polina, take her to her seat, please. Hmm? Can I stay for another three minutes, please? When will I ever have another chance to be in here? All right, go ahead, Polina. Let her stay for a while. That's amazing. Impudence wins. I just can't understand. How does a plane actually fly? Why doesn't it drop? Such a big machine flying like a bird. It's the force of lift working. Have you ever heard of the laws of aerodynamics? Bearing surfaces create lift force when moving towards the airstream. In this case, we're talking about wings. Did you get any of that? I have, I'm not stupid. I just don't understand why we aren't dropping. Nika, this is not a joke anymore, or a joke that's gone on for too long. At your age, of course, there are brief... What would you call them? Infatuations, or crushes. But you'd better find someone, I don't know, more suitable among your own generation. Listen, you're failing to understand one thing. Valera is married, and you're creating a lot of problems for him. Even if you're really in love, why would you ruin his life? Oh, come on. He doesn't look that tortured. I'll talk to his wife, she'll understand. Valera would have never married an idiot, it just didn't work for them. Perhaps they clash personalities, or perhaps, I don't know, maybe they weren't sexually right for each other? I'm gonna put tape over your mouth. <laughs> you pilots are dangerous. Ejecting people from the plane, putting tape on their mouths. Stanislav, do me a favor and take her to her seat. With great pleasure. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The tour's over, come on. Move along.
The return flight isn't until the morning. Where are you planning to sleep? Here's the hotel. I'll get a room. This is a hotel only for the flight crew. No one's gonna let you in, okay? Get a room, she says. I thought you promised that you would stop chasing me around. No, I didn't. If I can't get in the hotel, I'll sleep in the park, where I can get mugged or assaulted. What am I gonna do with you? All right, wait here. I'll think of something. Hey, good to see you. Lena, go visit my mom. Tell her I'll be prepping for the extra credit at the library tonight. What do you mean she won't believe you? Make her believe you, Lena. All right, talk to you later. Bye. Get up, you. You're staying in the administrator's office. I hope you won't assault me. She's an elderly woman, and stop talking like that. You've got a loose tongue. No one invited you to fly here. All right, come on, let's go. Good for you, resting on a full belly. What, are you hungry? Of course I'm hungry. You charge so much for tickets that poor passengers can't even afford to buy an apple. Oh, God, I'm getting so tired of you. <clears throat> Here's some money. Why don't you go find some place to eat? Alone? In a strange city? Do I have to remind you about me being alone in a strange city again? You should have run me over dead. All right, let's go. Away from here, though. Everybody's staring, laughing. Thank you, Meg. You're welcome. Here you go. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, this menu is all meat. There's no food for you here. Salads? No, they all have meat in them. Why don't we find another place? Mm-mm. No, it's okay. You're tired. <laughs> Finally, you noticed. And I'm not dying of hunger, actually. I'll eat. Raviolis, for example. No, there's meat in that. Well, I'll try not to think about it. After all, the meat is masked in ravioli. <laughs> uh, excuse me, miss, please. Nika, a third helping of ravioli would definitely be too much. That's fine. Can you spare some money? I'll pay you back. Relax, I can get it. It's not expensive. And you might explode. <laughs> you haven't eaten meat in a while. Won't that make you feel sick? Don't worry, I'll be okay. Your life is just... One big dilemma. On the other hand, I'm always fine. Someone's going to be lucky living with a chill girl. Yeah, you're a real chill girl. Does your mom cook well? I try not to eat at her place. What do you mean by that? Who are you talking about like that? About mom and her current friend. Do you not talk with your biological father? Can you imagine? How unusual, right? I've never actually seen him. Are you shocked, Pilot? No, I'm not. People break up even when they have children. But it doesn't keep children from respecting both parents and their choices. Well, if that's true, you need to have two parents to respect them both. And I can't because my second parent disappeared. So I guess you don't love your stepfather. I don't. Yeah. No. Order more ravioli? You won't be able to eat anymore. I will. All right. Excuse me, miss. Could we have some more ravioli, please? What gives you pleasure? In life, I mean. Besides work. I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. Well, think about it now. Adult life isn't about pleasure. Hmm. Everyone caters to you now. Later, you'll have to take care of everything and everyone. There won't be much time or energy left for pleasures. Well, if it's just about fulfilling your responsibilities, then you won't even have a reason to wake up in the morning. Do you feel happy? Hmm? Oh, God. I'm so lucky that my son doesn't ask me such crazy questions. Is there anything beside responsibilities between you and him? Do you have fun together? Well, we used to. We used to go mountain climbing. We would go skiing, swimming, and kayaking. Oh, it was all really great. Did your wife go 
Swimming and kayaking with you guys, too? No, Masha can't stand those things, really. <laughs> I knew it. You knew what? I knew that your marriage was nothing but a fake. It's made up. All right. I have a flight tomorrow. Let's go back home to the hotel. Why do you keep following me around, huh? That's it. Focus on your studies and your friends. Sort out your own life. You can do that, can't you? So, like, we're not going to date anymore? No, we're not dating. You've been following me. I am sick to death of you. I've never had so much gossip follow me around. That's it. I'm done. You're hurting my young soul, pilot. <sighs> Damn it, listen. Back when I was in school, I was in love with my French teacher. I wrote <laughs> stupid letters to her. Letters about her <laughs> eyes. Letters <laughs> about my dreams. And what came out of it? My friends were in love with their classmates. They still recall that being the best time of their lives. And I was in love with a woman who was <laughs> dyeing her gray hair this unnatural red color to make herself look younger. And I'm still ashamed and regretful about it. You like redheads? Do you want me to dye my hair red or what? Nika, can't you hear me? Don't you understand? I understand, pilot. Let's go for a ride, okay? I'm begging you, come on, let's go. Hmm? No, you go take a ride. I'll buy you a I ticket. I don't want it like that. I want it with you. Please, please, please. I want to take a ride. Nika, I'm done. I'm going to the hotel, okay? Are you afraid of getting sick on the Ferris wheel, pilot? Let's go. <sighs> <laughs> You need to drink a lot of water. And the lemon provides vitamin C. We rode this merry-go-round so nicely. If I weren't so sick, we would have kept going around and around. Later, I will remember what else we rode. What music was playing. Nika, do you even understand what kind of trouble you're in? What do you mean by that? Exactly that. He'll never abandon his wife, and he will never be with you, and no one knows when you're gonna fall in love again. There's very few people like Valero. Oh, do you think so? Mm-hmm. I totally got that right away. He's amazing, right? Drink more water, come on. Oh, so he has a wife. And so what? Wife's not blood. You can change her. Oh, my God. <laughs> Beautiful morning, isn't it? It's just another morning. You're just in a good mood. I am. I'm guessing you're starting to like this crazy girl. Come on, I'm not that long in the tooth. Fresh faces don't fascinate me, but... See? You already have a butt. I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> it's been a long time since I woke up so happy. You know, maybe it's not really such a bad thing when... someone looks at you like that. Look, Valera. She's ready to follow you to the edge of the world. Expect a major scandal with your wife. Don't you love Masha at all? She's my wife, my family, my dear one. But this is stronger than love. Are you sure? No, I'm not.
How'd I do? That's all correct. Did you cheat, Fedorova? From whom? From him? Does he look like someone anybody could cheat from? No, he doesn't. Or do I look like a complete fool? You don't, but you do skip school, Fedorova. You don't come to lectures or any of your practical studies. You've only started studying. Is there anything more important than studies? Hmm? There is. What is that? I have something more important than studies. This is why I sleep terribly and only study at night. If the answers are correct and you don't have any questions, give me my grade and I'll go get a little sleep. Mm -hmm. I'm done waiting for him. I'm starving. Let's eat. Let's wait a little longer, shall we? He's gonna be here any minute. No, no, no. Let's eat. He'll finish what's left of it. Come on, sit down. Nasha, you're an incredible cook. Thank you. But what's the use? Husband doesn't hurry back home. Son prefers living alone in the mountains. Did Alexei leave for long this time? He should be studying for college exams because he's reaching out to the top ones. I'm tired of them, you know. I wish I could just run away. Thank you. Masha, just don't listen to the gossip. No one tells me anything. Or they just say, Masha, don't listen to the gossip. It's not worth it. It's just that you've never been married. What don't I understand? You don't understand that it is possible to know everything when a person says it's you. On the phone, no passion, no poems, just... Just it's you. And you understand right away that it's time to prepare divorce papers. Masha, I've never asked you, why did you divorce Alexei's father? We were very young then. We got married right after prom. Alexei was born three months later. We started fighting right away. Sounds funny, but it was because he was out playing football every night. So he was a football player? No. He was just a young fool. I needed to wait for him to grow up. He got married 10 years later and is raising a daughter now. And by the look of things, I'm going to be divorced for the second time. Why do you ask? Nothing. Uh, no reason. No, there is a reason. You all think I'm a fool. A jealous drama queen. Yes, I'm jealous. I'm a drama queen, but I'm not blind. I see how you feel about me. It's pretty obvious at this point. Hold on. What? Someone had to say it first. Yeah, someone had to. Well, I did. Well, what do we do now? Got any sleep, Pilot? Did I fall asleep? <laughs> you sure did. Oh God, did I snore? No, you didn't. Special thanks for that. It was you who took me to that stupid kid's show. <laughs> <laughs> you laughed like crazy, and you woke me up. <laughs> I liked it. I'd like to watch it again. Well, you'll have to do it without me. When do you even study? I study like a beast. That's not true. You'll drop out right away.
<laughs> That's a fake. The original. Okay, I'm done for the day. It's time to go home. Where is your car? Over there, in the parking lot. Do you know how to pay? Oh, come on. We'll go pay then. Hello? <laughs> I can't hear you. Who is this? Ah, uh, it's you. Pilot. Not a living soul in the world would believe that we're not having an affair. I guess that's why my number's hidden from your wife. I can't Masha hit me. I deserve it. Did Stanislav not wait for me? Mm-hmm. Is he upset? Mm-mm. <laughs> Let's drink to the fact that you got here. After all. <laughs> all right, let's drink. <laughs> Although you started already. Mm -hmm. I can see that. Okay, let's drink to you then. It's a shame that Stanislav left already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> oh, I get it. They made you the head of the department. Uh -huh. Yeah, right, of course. They're going to get me to retire. So why do you... So why do you say that? Um, you're acting very strange today. Am I? <laughs> so when I scream and weep, I'm not strange? <laughs> yes. And today I'm feeling really good. Let's have more wine. Uh, all right. And I want to tell you, my dear husband, <laughs> that I'm tired of being miserable. Do you understand me? Is it my fault, then, that you're miserable? No. This is only my fault. But I have to understand somehow that I won't have another life. I'm going to live through this life, and that's it. That's it, Valera. Do you understand? I'll be lying with my death rattle, and what will I remember? Tell me, what will I remember? I've always tried... I've always wanted to make you happy, Masha. Don't say that. It's not your fault that I made you marry me. And I knew that you never actually loved me. All right. <laughs> you and I have a chance to spend a good night together. <laughs> so cheers. Well, let's go. Before we start fighting again. Come on. Leave it. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Masha, stop it. You're. Oh. <laughs> Everything. Here's ointment, here's pepper patch, here are the products. Here's your change. Why did you ring? I gave you the key. Well, I still feel uncomfortable opening a lonely man's apartment, even if I have a spare key. Aren't you mistaken? I'm not a lonely man. I'm a lonely old man with ridiculitis. <laughs> That's right. I can barely manage to get out the door. I've been telling you, it's time for you to finally stop riding your bike to the hospital. Mm. I bought chicken. How do you want it? Boiled? Fried? Or do you want it baked in the oven? Won't it be disgusting for you to cook a chicken? Well, I've already broken my principles. Uh, I ate ravioli with meat. Therefore, the fall of man has already happened. Sit still. I'm going to give you your painkiller. And wait for lunch. And why are you giving orders? Who are you? Well, whoever I am, no one else is taking care of you. 
Not your son, your daughter-in-law, your grandson. No one comes to see you. I didn't tell them. That's you who has to know everything. This is why you know it. The grandson is in the mountains, though. I pray for him every day. Your grandson totally sucks. No, he's not. He's... He's very brave and a famous mountaineer. It doesn't take much brain to climb mountains. Hmm. He studies at the Petrochemical University, by the way. <laughs> at the kerosene one? Why? Oil is getting cheaper. It's about to run dry soon. Well, at least you're successful. Well, I will be. We'll never run out of sick people to treat. Old men on bicycles like you, for example. You're terribly rude. Who raised you? The streets, Evgeny, the streets. My relationship with my mom is so-so. My stepfather is horrible. I'm good looking, mm. a medalist. I'm clever when you get to know me. And finally, I'm a person of rare inner qualities. Thus, I'm the embodiment of the best traits of a modern girl. Well, there's one trait you're clearly lacking. I'm talking about modesty. That's not necessary. Not necessary, you think? I think it is necessary. For example, why wouldn't you leave my son alone? I need him. Very much. His family needs him too. I need him more. I don't know about your alpinist grandson, but it's about time your son knew. You can't imagine what huge psychological problems you have now. Who doesn't have problems today? Well, after my back finally gets better, I'll find you a therapist. He's a top class specialist. <laughs> Thanks, but I've already got an appointment. What's this? It's time for a back rub. Mm-hmm. According to the instructions, I'll apply the ointment directly to the lumbar spine. Well, that's right. Massage it with a clockwise movement. Clockwise, that's to the right. Hmm? <laughs> well, let's go, doctor. Oh. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Believe me, you'll thank me for this later. Let me thank you for this now, and we'll go our separate ways. No, I swore to Valera I'd persuade you to go see the therapist, and you promised me. I even skipped the gym today because of you, so you should be grateful. All right, don't cry. I came after all. They used to bring people to asylums with their arms twisted. Now psychos go there on their own and pay money on top of it. The main thing at your age is to not go crazy. You're confused. These are teenagers that go crazy because of unhappy love. I've outgrown that already. Oh, damn it. I'm wasting time. I could have gone to an important lecture instead. Although, it's even interesting how they can persuade me that I'm crazy. I'm warning you, I'm not going to pay. Surprise, Valero already paid for you to have a session. He should be doing this himself. Mika, you have to understand that your behavior is not really normal. I think you all come down too hard on me. What's the drama? One person is attracted to another, so what? Why do you care? I guess you like Valera after all. Well, I like him a little bit. But I would never let myself... All right, stop. Forget him from this very minute. He's not for you. He doesn't suit you at all. <laughs> so I suppose he suits you then? He suits me 100%. That's it. Oh. Now it's you too, as if his wife isn't enough. You're giving me so much anxiety right now. Here, this is it. You're going to see a specialist. Give me the cash. It's right over there. Never bought me flowers before. I didn't think twice about spending his money to send me to the madhouse. Nika, perhaps you could try switching your attention to something else. Okay, for example? Friends, studies, sports, your family. I'm not very interested in friends and studies right now. I have no time for sports. My family doesn't care about me. Next. Being in love is typical for your age. No, but don't take it too seriously. Are you interested in literature? Now you nailed it. I am. I'm especially interested why everyone in literature was so serious about being in love. Poisoning, shooting each other, 
One African-American man even strangled his own wife. <laughs> Can you imagine? He didn't go to a therapist. He asked, have you prayed tonight? And grabbed her neck. You know what? Why didn't anyone suggest he do sports? All right. Let's move on. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. I nearly froze to death out here. Why don't you study in the house, in your room? I like it here. It's silent, and it's good to be out in the open air. What's with your face, Mom? What's with my face? Ah, ah. I went to the dermatologist this morning. We had a new procedure. It, it'll be gone in just a few days. I see. Again with the pointless rebellion against nature. Mom, you look cool. Why are you torturing yourself? Well, honey, I have to do something about my age. You don't have to do anything about your age. You have to live in your age. Yeah, you quickly forget how they barely saved you after those two bad injections. But it looks good right after. Is he the one demanding that you rejuvenate constantly? Who, Oleg? No, he doesn't care. That's what I'm saying. He doesn't care, Mom. All right, let's... Let's talk about you. You fell in love with a boy who's in your class, right? No, he's not my classmate. Mom, I have a lot of stuff to read. Ah, oh, okay, okay, I'm leaving. It's just that we used to be friends and now you don't tell me anything. You're in love for the first time with a boy and I don't know anything. All right, listen, Mom. If I make it, you will know it. And if I fail, well, you don't need superfluous information, am I right? Right. I'm just afraid that he's going to break your heart. <sighs> Tell me one thing. Is he a decent boy? He's the best of the contemporaries. No, really. He's a very decent man. <laughs> you know what? I'll finish reading and run to the drugstore and get Arnica for the face. <laughs> you are such a good girl. I love you. Mwah. the drugstore in half an hour. We've got business. Yeah. Listen, I'm taking your car. Mm-hmm. Why would you? Yours ran out of gas or what? Well, I need to change the brake pads anyway. <laughs> you live without brakes, so drive without brakes. You're not getting it. Sorry, but I need the car today. Ah, you're going to see your man, aren't you? Is he at least rich? You know what? I'm sick of you. Step aside, take your car, and get the hell out of here. I won't even ask you what lies you told your mother. You're the worst. Have you thought about it? Yes, I have. Well? Nika, I'm not gonna do it. You're out of your mind. I don't get you. Is it a no? You really thought I would agree to this? I still want to respect myself. I see. Let everyone around you suffer. Let your friend and her mother suffer and waste their lives so that you don't lose any self-respect. Am I right? Nika, but you... Yeah, sure. I'll handle it by myself. You know what? Forget you have a friend. Nika, you always make up insane things. You're not afraid of anything, but I'm not like that. I can't do it. Insane? What's insane about me trying to save my mom from the man who always torments her? Who lies to her all the time and who will dump her in the end? She chose him, Nika. Shut up, you know nothing. All women her age are afraid of being alone. Doesn't your mom cry on the weekends? She has no weekends. She's working all the time. I'm studying, and my brother's in kindergarten. Sorry, well, I didn't mean to make you upset. She does on holidays when she's done with all the work. My brother falls asleep and that's when she cries. So you should know then. I know, but what you're gonna do is disgusting, Nika. Oh, 
Well, let's get it straight. What's so awful about this idea after all? You look amazing, super, and you definitely know how to move your butt around. Well, I'm not telling you have sex with him. You should just seduce this bastard. Let him be crazy about you, and I'll take care of the rest. So what's gonna happen? Well, I guess mom has to realize we have a ticking bomb which is going to explode at home. All right then. Is it a deal? <sighs> okay, I feel sorry for Aunt Natasha too. Thanks, Lena. Tomorrow, Mom's going to be at work in the afternoon, and the scumbag will be lying on the sofa. You should come in and ask for me. Tell him that you'll wait for me in the back. Dress up like you're going to a club. Let your hair down, I don't know. You don't need to tell me. I already know what I'm doing. What do you think? Loneliness runs in the family? I must get it from my mother. Well, we're either going to find our soulmates and live together, or we'll end up dying without any family at all. Look, we'll have five test tube children each, <laughs> and they'll die of envy. That's how happy we'll be. They won't die. We'll be happy, don't worry. <laughs> Nika, if my mom sees me looking like this, I'm done. Yeah, I'm wearing the heels. Have you tried walking in these? And I rub my feet. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. Lena, what happened to you? Aunt Zena, hello. Are you on your way to the market right now? Better hurry, I heard there's a sale going on. Why are you dressed like this, for Christ's sake? Don't insult me, and don't follow me. Just keep on walking. Have you no shame? Is this how you're making money? Huh? Where are you going? You won't find anyone here. Here they know your family is a decent one. You should just go home. Keep on walking, Aunt Zena. Rid yourself of these evil ways. It's radioactive. Take your hands off me. It's a free country. I can do what I want. Thank you. Lena, why don't you have a drink with me? No, I'm good. Thank you. Am I interrupting you? Well, no. Oh. So I guess it's okay then. Yeah, sure. I like it that you're here. You're fun. And your friend, Nika, she hardly even says hi. How do you get along with her? We used to share a desk in the first grade. I'm sorry for that. Sitting at the same desk with such a villain. How did you manage to stay alive? Thank you. And when's Nika coming back? I don't expect her home anytime soon. She stays in town late. And that's why I've been able to still live in this incredible house. Well, look. Do you want to uh, have dinner with me sometime soon? I know a great restaurant in town. Huh? Mm, I'd like to. Maybe Nika will be free too. No, that's not what I want. I couldn't eat if that evil energy was around. <laughs> Let her study. You and I are gonna have a great time together. So, deal? It's a deal. That's great. Can you tell Nika to call me when she gets back? I will. The bag. <laughs> oh. mm, I, I'll give it to Nika. I really have to go. Bye. One. Two. Three. Four. So, maybe this.
this one. I want to give this bouquet to my beloved man. Oh, okay, careful. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ah, you like these? Mm-hmm. Uh, but, honey, usually it's the guys who buy the bouquets for the girls. Mm. Won't he laugh at you? Yeah, maybe he will laugh. But I'm not looking for the easiest way. <sighs> Wait a minute. Please don't put this rod in it. I told you this was for my beloved man. <sighs> Is this the one? Yes, this works good. Mm -hmm. So listen to the music and then you'll get it. And one, two, three. I will never get it. That's it, and you said you weren't going to get it. Okay. So we can't fight. <laughs> I'll never fight with you anyhow. I never want to fight with you either. <laughs> never again. All right, so it's a truce then. Forever. <laughs> Please, come in, don't be shy. Good evening, and who's Valera Pavlov? Yeah, that's me. Oh, please sign here. <laughs> Wait a minute, there has to be a mistake. We didn't order any flowers. Hmm, there's no mistake here. This bouquet is for you, from Nika Fedorova. There's also a note with it. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Goodbye. All right, good night. To Valera, with all my love. Oh my God, Valera, when will this end? <laughs>